Hello there, we are continuing our series on replacing wind savers or breast savers or valves. And again, uh, what are they? They're little pieces of double layer plastic that seal the reed that's not being played while the other reed is, understanding that there are two of them in every channel of the comb of your harmonica. And so, what we're doing right now is we are removing glue from this reed plate. And I'm not in a rush, so I'm actually doing uh, quite a few of them for you here. And we'll talk to you uh, throughout the process here. And uh, so what I'm gonna try on the next one, and by the way, one of the problems I faced on this last hole was there is a little bit of glue in the reed slot and I want to keep on scraping until I actually have um, all of that glue removed. Which is tough because there's a lot of glue on that. And I was able to clear all of the glue out of the reed slot. So here we go to the next one. Now, this is a stiffener from a collar of a shirt. Let's just see how we do here. Well, I kind of have always liked this method because it does the least damage to the reed plate, but if you really think about it, it probably doesn't matter if the reed plate has teeny little scratches because, uh, you know, it's... Let's take a look here. That one worked really well, so we got a good result with the stiffener. Of course, it's going to be much gentler on the reed plate than a stainless steel probe from a dentist's office. Let's come here. This next one does have bleed over of, of uh, glue into the reed slot. I hope I can show this to you. We're working on this one and it does have some glue that dribbled into the hole. That all has to come out. Okay, so I just come in and very gently scratch it out. All right, come here and hit this again with the shirt stiffener. Well, you know, you might say, well, why why would you use the sh the shirt stiffener instead of the metal probe? Because it scratches the metal less. Now. Is that bad or good? A little bit of scratching isn't bad because I think that the glue holds a little better for the, for the new wind saver. But on the other hand, I do like to keep things kind of pristine. And um, so let's go up here. These are two of the higher notes. We'll start off with our trusty collar stiffener. And then I come in with the probe and make sure that the slots are absolutely clean. I'll also use my dental probe just to make sure that I did get all the residue off. One of the problems with the stiffener, the shirt stiffener, is it can leave some residue a little bit. It's not as uh, fine a tool as the dental probe, and I can come in with the dental probe and clean out the slot. I don't know what that is. Ooh, that one's got a little bit of the uh, windsaver stuck on it still. Come in and take that off. It didn't work so well. I've got to come in with the dental probe now. Now, what can go wrong? Well, if you hit one of the reeds, you're going to ruin it. So do not hit the reed. Okay, so that time we got the uh, the residue of the reed plate out. 
we come here, same problem. There's just a little bit of a wind saver still stuck on it. And that's got to go. It's right here. So I have to take that off. It's a small one, but I use the dental tool on this one a lot. If I have to scrape off a residue of a brush saver, that one just kind of popped once I hit it. Got that. I'm always going back in with the dental tool and making sure that those reed slots are absolutely clean. Okay, that completes that side. And we flip it over. Since I'm not in a rush, Come back up here. It's been six minutes. So what have we been doing? We've been taking off the old glue carefully because you don't want to hit those reeds. You will damage it if you whack it, scrape it, hit it. You want to get that old glue off with as little damage to the reed plate as possible. You can use a little thin piece of plastic like a stiffener from a dress shirt or a dental tool but be careful because this is stainless steel and it's about as hard as this heel or harder so you, know, you can scratch that metal be gentle but you want you want that residue gone from where it was glued and then you want any that dripped in that slot out so you want to absolutely prepare it. And this one has not been prepared. That's a one that still has to be done. This side, they're all ready to go. Okay. So that's, that's the step where you're preparing things. If your harp's quite old, you might want to be looking at your reeds too and inspect at that point. But I'm not talking about that today.